Hello, it's Markham Torch, here from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to be showing you what I actually did to create this Minecraft video and all the add-ons that I used just to quickly smash it out, apart from the rendering, because that was cycles, and you can tell. So first off, what I did is if I just go into render view, we can see what the atmosphere looks like. It looks like rubbish. I'm going to bring up my side panel and open up the physical atmosphere add-on link in the description. Let's just turn it on. Select our sun, rotate, XX, bam. That's all I did. And now we've got this beautiful environment lighting. I'm just gonna delete that point light. How did I go about creating the cubes? All I did was, is I used extreme PBR combo. Let's go find our rock texture. And I believe one of the rocks was this one. Click map kit, add a displacement on that. First, what I'm gonna do is go into tab into edit mode, right click, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Then we jump back out. I just remove the material, add the material, bam. That was it. And that's the gorgeousness that just comes out of it. I'm currently in Eevee, but if we jump over to Cycles, it just adds that little bit extra to it. And it looks fantastic. Um, I'll give you another example. So if I do Shift D, duplicate that cube. And then if we go into Terrain, and then I think the this was the dirt texture, remove and add. There we go, that's all it was. And I mean, if those rocks are coming through a little bit too thick, we can go into the UV editor, go into edit mode, scale. I can just go 0 0.5 and it goes a little bit smaller. And that was fairly straightforward. How I went about doing the grass. All I did is I duplicated this box. Let's go into solid mode. Let's hide one of them. And then what I'm gonna do is just deselect this top bit. Let's come up into the top, go into the scatter add-on, select our cube. Let's go to biomes and we can all see all the materials that we can add. I'm gonna add in this one, AO8. And then what I think I did is I selected all my grass assets, not the camera, and then just scaled it up. So it'll be a little bit bigger. <laughs> That's a little bit too big. And there we go. That's just how I did the grass. Now, initially when I first did it, I actually kind of made a path down the bottom here just by moving the vertices up and down just to add some extra grass but the corners were looking a little bit funky so those are the three main add-ons and how i actually did it is this is the actual blend file so the camera is not a bezier curve it's a nerbs curve and i find that a nerbs curve is a lot smoother when running a, running a camera with a bezier curve i can find that normally around the sharp corners is always kind of like that um jerking and then all I did was just lay out the blocks into something that somewhat resembled a Minecraft small cave. And this is what the whole map looks like from outside. The lava section, I've just got one massive orange lamp that's projecting the light from the bottom. So if I just press numpad zero, and I'll show you the rendered image. And you can see that we've just got some different types of block just to kind of break it up. We've got some dirt. The background is very dark. Um, I only had this running at about 32 f samples and then I had the denoiser on. So we found that it was kind of, you know, still running at two and a half minutes over 900 frames down the bottom. Now, if you got anything out of this, please let me know in the description below if it's actually worth doing these types of videos of showing you what I actually did to achieve it. If you can, please make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, as it really helps me out.